a situation where it's found that the entire neighborhood has this this feature, and you got a whole development, then the responsibility of the city, and that kind of falls upon the board's, you know, the board of adjustment might say, well, wait a minute, we're running into this with every lot in this area. Nobody knew about it. Then the city should go in and change the requirements for that particular area. And say, okay, let's adjust all of the setbacks in that area so we don't have to do this Rather every time. Good right. Good right. Doing then we need, right. We, we want to make sure a variance is very limited. Yeah, it's, it's only like for that property. Area. It's something that we can't foresee. But if, if it comes about that we need to really look at this whole area and adjust it so that we don't kind of, you know, take right. everybody's ability to, to use their property in this area, then we got to change the ordinance. Before you came in, Dave, he told us that 99% of the variances probably wouldn't hold up in a court of law. <laughs> <laughs> kind of put the and and it head. happens all the time. So who would change them? Change the law for this? As far as as uh, so that ordinances. Those, the ordinances. The city. Yes, yeah, yeah, so would, would come, come back to oh, the the P and Z would look at would it. You start know, just like we've been doing. Yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. would know. You know, yeah. if a situation yeah. like that, like I said, in development, yeah, we all of a sudden, the mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. there was an underground stream or some real odd thing that. Oh my, everybody in that area is going to run into that same situation down. unless we let them move the houses five <laughs> further to the, closer to the road. Okay. Then the P and Z could say, we'll make that recommendation. The city council would say, yep, and we'll look at that area and we'll rezone it or maybe make a new zoning district or, you know, whatever, so that we don't take everybody in that area's ability to, to use their but property. But it wouldn't be all these uh, variances. That's, that's correct. You know, if it's really going to be an area-wide problem, then you need to look at changing the actual ordinance. So, um, you know, this, like I said, the, the, the handout here, the blue handout, I think is very, um, a very good explanation of that. You know, the hardship um, is something that, you know, is created by the ordinance, you know, again. And that piece of property where a corner has that spring or quicksand or whatever, you know, is something that there's no really good reason or, or problem with moving that closer to one side. It still fits in the character. You know, again, you want to meet the public interest that, yes, we want that to be housing in that situation. We want, you know, the, the properties to flow. Um, it still meets the spirit of the ordinance for that to be a residential area. Um, and that we did justice to that individual to say, yeah, you spent money, bought that lot. The developer put in the infrastructure in good faith. You know, everybody was in good faith. But our ordinance just um, had a setback that was a little too close, you know, to, to do that. So, you know, we're going to going to deal with that. And, and again, if I ever find a, a good example of a variance that isn't some really complicated, I mean, there have been some really complicated cases of things. Um, I haven't ever seen any that really have been simple. You know, so. So most of the things that we've experienced as variances, you're saying, should have been special exceptions. That's correct. The thing is, in, in, in years past, there weren't a lot of special exceptions defined in, yeah. in zoning ordinances. Mm -hmm. And that's why in here, we've defined a lot right. of them. Right. There are lots of places where, you know, it gives the Board of Adjustment a lot of leeway um, to deal with those types of things and call them special exceptions. Mm -hmm. But by putting them in as special exceptions, um, it does give the Board the ability to review it and look at it and say, you know, maybe a child care center in a residential area, that's not a big deal. That happens all the time. It kind of makes sense. You know, people you know, live in areas need a place to bring their kids. But it gives the Board of Adjustment the ability to look at it and say, well, as long as you provide you know, fence right. and keep kids safe and parking for your employees and those types of things, um, you know, we, we still have the ability to say without putting it in as a principal use and give, you know, giving them carte blanche. But some of these decisions can open a can of worms, too. Oh, they can. They certainly can. You know, where they have to be careful with the decisions. They can. They and as long as, as long as they follow the guidelines, you know, listed in here, that procedure, follow the guidelines in here, it's a special exception. Generally, a court's going to say, yeah, you went through the right process, you let everybody know um, it made sense for that particular area. The next guy down the street, if he wants to do something that he thinks is similar, you can look at it and say, well, it's actually it's not the same thing at all. You know, you know, people have different That's ideas right. in their mind about, yeah. well, my deal is just like his, you just don't like me as well as you like him. <laughs> You know, I see the stuff going to court. Right. The, the problem is more and more people do. Yeah. You more see it do. around here? We have started to see a little bit of it here. More so the peop that people threaten it. 
Mm -hmm. And hate to say a lot of times people say, well, we don't want to do that. Let's lay it back down. Sure. Yeah. And uh, we had a situation, one of the best, <laughs> the best situations that we've run into in, in, in a small community uh, that had zoning on the books. And uh, the city didn't have a very good uh, procedure in place for inspecting what people wanted to do. And somebody applied for a permit to build a house. And uh, the city councilman came out, actually a couple of them did, and said, yeah, you can put it there. Yeah, I'm sure that's close. That meets the setbacks. Mm -hmm. So they put a foundation in the ground and probably cost, I don't know what a foundation costs, 15000 20000 bucks for concrete and utilities and all that. I'm not sure who discovered it, but at some point somebody discovered it and said, that's 10 feet too close to the street. And it was, obviously. I'm not sure where they measured the setback from or if they did or didn't or whatever the deal was. Um, and the city all of a sudden, well, wait a minute, you, you got to move the house. you gotta, you got to deal with that. Well, the uh, property owner said, city guys came out, council people came out and said, this is where we can put it. You know, we want we want a variance. So the city council says, well, no, you're not going to get a variance. Which number one, council has no ability to grant a variance. <laughs> so <laughs> the property owners' attorneys went back and started looking. The city council had been granting variances for years. Ooh, oh. Don't have any authority to do that. <laughs> so there was a compromise reached in the city between the P and Z. Everybody agreed not to sue and not to go to court. Because the city was going to threaten to sue them to take it out. Well, the property owner said, well, you're, you're not going to win. You guys have been missing, misapplying this for years. <laughs> so we went back and we rezoned that section. It was Unfortunately, it was a new development. This was the first house that went up. So we changed the setbacks in that area, which didn't harm anybody. It just kind of changed the density of that area a little bit. And now it looks fine. I mean, they're a little closer to the street than... than different streets in that development, but it's one street, and nobody will ever know that be the wiser down the road. At least they're all the same. They're all the same. Yeah, yep. they're all the same. It's new houses. Fortunately, it was the first one, and... See, know, that's the whole it was idea easy of thing. Right. Yeah. Right. It keeps them uniformity. That's right. That's right. You know, and, and like I said, you're none the wiser. It's built up now. Um, there are 10 houses in there, and you never know the difference. You nobody can't have 25-foot setbacks and then one... Only tip, right? That's exactly right. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, but that's the idea behind, um, you know, making sure that everybody knows their responsibilities going into the area. You know, look at in that case, we had to rezone the whole area. A little different than the variance thing, but so that's where you had people that were going to effectively. This could have been a court mess. So the council can't usurp the power of the board of adjustment. That's correct. What you're telling me. That's okay. correct. And how is the power conferred by the council? Only a judge. Yeah. What's that? And how is the power conferred by the council to the board? By what? Is it not a special? Uh, is it not a special municipal jurisdiction, and therefore would be? No, it's under okay. Iowa. The Iowa law. But so is everything else the city does. But what I'm saying is, is it's created and conferred by the council to establish the board. So That's how correct. can they establish the board and not have uh, a superior authority over? The uh, because Iowa Code gives the board of and appointed a board of adjustment the ability to grant variances and grant special exceptions. It's assessments. probably much the it's same. Yeah, way. And what if that board does not exist? The board, the, in order to properly administer zoning, that board has to exist. Now there is one kind of quirk. There's nothing in the Iowa Code that prevents. There from being duplicate members on different things, um, like a member of the planning and zoning board also being on the right. There's nothing that specifically on. prohibits that, but everybody that I've ever talked to is fairly convinced that it's just one of those things you don't do because it's going to get challenged. Right. You know, you're going to lose, and you know, so it's, it's just one of those things. Like, don't even go there. 